Hey, Zach here from Canadian Tire. I'm here with Project Turaku, our 2017 Toyota Tundra. We made a ton of lighting upgrades to this truck over the last couple of weeks, with the exception of these headlights that we special ordered from Spider because we wanted this unique black housing. Everything else we did on this truck from a lighting perspective was sourced through Alpina off the shelf of our local Canadian Tire store. The Alpina stuff is high quality LED, at an affordable price and like I said, readily available to your local Canadian Tire store. So the first thing we did was we upgraded our factory fog lights by replacing them with these Alpina quad fire units. These are really nice, versatile, square. They ship with mounting hardware and all of that. And you get four LEDs in here. They're 16 watt units outputting about 1500 lumens of this nice, intense white light that match, you know, HIDs or LEDs you might have um, on your car already. In this case, we mounted them using these application specific brackets that we special ordered from Alpina. But a lot of times you're able to adapt the unit to fit your existing fog light housing or bracket, depending on your situation. But these are available through Alpina if you need to order them. Really sets off the front of the truck, gives you that really bright, bright, intense light on the lower part of the road if you're driving on like back roads at night, they're great to have. The next thing we did was we had this Aries bull bar. It's an Aries stealth bull bar that we ordered from them and installed on this truck. And it came with holes pre-drilled to mount lighting or other accessories to the front. So we used those holes and we mounted these Alpina Mod Cube lights. Now these are one of my favorite lighting options. I think they're really underrated because they're modular. So you can arrange them in any configuration you want. You can mount them all together. You can mount them in a row. Um, really unique and you can do some really unique stuff with them. In this case, we mounted two um, together like this vertically. So we kind of frame the plate with it and it gives you that really cool uh, vertical light ahead of the truck. I think they're 12 watts each, outputting about 800 lumens. Um, they come with like a black die cast body, um, shatterproof lenses. They've got these unique copper rings in here, which are removable and you can paint to match your truck if you want. Since our truck is brown, the copper complements the brown pretty well, I decided to just leave them copper. We wired up both the, the fog lights and these mod cubes to our um, factory fog light circuit. Now we're able to do that because these are LEDs, they're low wattage, you don't overload the circuit. Um, and the, the big benefit is that these are all controlled now through the factory fog light switch inside the cab. So we didn't have to run any extra wiring into the cab or anything like that. So it's a really slick, really clean installation. I think these look great. I think these mod cubes in particular really set off the front of the truck and give it a unique look that you don't see out there. So I'm really happy with the way the front lighting on this truck turned out. So we didn't forget about the back end of our Tundra. We made a bunch of lighting upgrades there as well. Starting with these Alpina quad fires that we mounted below the bumper to get some additional reverse lighting. These are the same quad fires we used for the fog lights up front, except now we've mounted them here. So just goes to show you how versatile these lights are. In the case of the Tundra, there was already a factory hole on the bottom of the bumper in these locations. So all we did was we ran the hardware that was supplied with the lights through that hole, no drilling at all. And then we wired these into the reverse light circuit for the trailer connector. So what we did there was we looked at the cap on our trailer connector in the case of this Toyota. It actually identifies which wire on that connector is for the reverse light circuit. So then we went in behind on the back side of the bumper. We spliced into that circuit using some wire taps and quickly and easily we were able to get power to these and they automatically come on when you put the truck in reverse. They provide a flood of that really nice white intense LED light. So if you're backing up at the cottage or in, in you know, uh, back roads or whatever where it's really dark, you get that flood of light and it's easy. You can see everything behind you really easily. The other quick and affordable accessory we added back here is this LED strip below the tailgate. So this is becoming a really popular accessory with truck guys. Um, it's a great way to get some extra visibility for your brake lights and your turn signals, which is always a good thing, while making use of that dead space below the, below the gate. This one's really easy to install. It comes back with that 3M adhesive. So all you do is you clean the area um, on the body really well and then stick it on there nice and straight. It's a pretty versatile setup. So it's got this piece in the middle here and that is if you've got a wider bed like ours, you add that piece, it just kind of clicks in there. If you've got a narrower bed or a step side truck, then you just need those two outer pieces. The other cool thing about the Alpina Trailblaze, it's kind of unique, is it actually uses just a four pin trailer connector. One end of it has the wire and you run it into your standard four pin trailer connector and it's plug and play. No wiring, no splicing, no cutting, nothing like that. Um, in this case, we ran the wiring all behind the bumper. So it looks fairly clean, fairly discreet. All you see is this little piece here where it plugs into the connector. So very easy to install, um, affordable upgrade, get you some extra visibility.